Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Listen, if you are here, that means you're engaged. So first of all, congratulations on your engagement. That is super exciting. I planned my wedding while I was working full time in New York City. I had my dream wedding. It was classy and it was under $25,000. My whole wedding, I basically chose quality over quantity. But guess what? I did not have 10 people at my wedding. I had 70 people at my wedding. So it was not an elopement. It wasn't a tiny minimalist wedding. Just because you want a nice wedding does not mean it has to be cheap. And I did not serve Chipotle. If that is you, then you are definitely in the right place. This is a deep dive video. I'm going to split it into three parts. This first part is going to be about what we wore. So I'm going to go through wedding band, engagement ring, what he wore, my dress, where I got it from in New York City, how much money that cost me, the veil, the alterations, all of that. So part two is going to be about venue. That is a huge dollar value that'll take up most of your cost for your wedding. So I'm not going to be shy about sharing with you who I use at three is going to be the big finale. And I'm going to share with you every single vendor that I use, their names, their links, the range of how much I paid. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about is your engagement ring. That is going to mark the very first step in your journey. And maybe you already have an engagement ring. If you do, then you can skip this portion, but I just wanted to talk about East West Gem Co. So this is the company that I use for my engagement ring, but it is a two carat moissanite ring. And I am more than happy with it. I still wear it, but this is an online company, online only. I believe they only have one boutique out on the West Coast. And I highly recommend to save money from the get-go, do not get yourself a blood diamond. And if you're offended, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna be honest about prices. Traditionally, mined diamonds are very, very expensive. If I were to get a similar quality real diamond, for the two carat moissanite that I have on right now, it would be at, at least 10 times what we paid for it. It was $1,700 when my husband bought it for me back in 2021. So I'm going to link their website below. They are not sponsoring this video. They did not accept my request to become an affiliate. They do not have an affiliate program. Moissanite is just as good it has not broken, it has not chipped. Okay, so I'm going to talk about wedding bands as well. Where did I get my wedding band? My wedding band, I love it so much, is from Holden Rings. Holden is a locally owned New York store and you can find it out in the Diamond District. And what I love about them is they are also not blood diamonds. They are lab created diamonds. Everything is ethical. They also even recycle the metals. So they're trying to use as much recycled metal uh, as much as possible. So you can actually go into their store, try things on, check out their website. So the one that I have from Holden is the one below. It matches my engagement ring so, so well. It just belongs together, if you know what I'm saying. And I often wear it by itself because of the baby that I have and I, and that has been really great. And it's just very delicate, really beautiful. Uh, it is three quarter diamonds all around, of course, lab created diamonds, so they are ethical. And it was only $679 before taxes. So I was super happy with that price. It was very competitive with other jewelry stores so I highly recommend Holden and they do not sponsor this video. But what I do, because I'm pretty honest and transparent, if I find a really good product, I will reach out to that company directly, which I did with Holden. Can I have an affiliate link? Can I become an affiliate? And they said, yes, there is my link right below in this description. So okay, so where did I get my dress? I have so much to say about my whole wedding dress situation because I planned this wedding within four months, four or five months, something around there. And then I had a problem ordering a dress on time because usually a dress will take between six months to even a year for it to actually be delivered to your door. And I had that problem. 
and I did not have that time. Not bother going to Kleinfeld. I wanted to go to Kleinfeld. I've been there as a bridesmaid multiple times. I've been to probably about 10 different wedding dress stores in New York City. Do not waste your time. This store is called RK, RK Bridal. I'm just trying to bring my American accent out here. RK Bridal, they have more than 2000 dresses in their store. It is a big store. And if you ask for a wedding dress consultant, ask for Cheryl. She is the best thing. My dress was this one. It was so beautiful. It was around $1,200 at the time. Another thing I wanna say about wedding dresses is alterations. Where did I take my dress for alterations and was I happy with it? Absolutely. I took my dress to a place called Alteration Specialists, New York, and they have maybe three or four stores throughout Manhattan, maybe one in Brooklyn, but they were actually quite affordable because some people can charge you so much money, the price of the wedding dress, or even more for the alterations, which I think is ludicrous. So alteration specialist, they charge me around $650 after taxes for the alteration of my wedding dress. And if you look at these photos here, I cannot say how happy I was with the way that my dress looked and felt on the day. I also want to talk about my husband's suit. Listen, it was such a great suit. He looks so good in it. He still wears it. And I think the beauty of suits, uh, if you don't get a tuxedo, is that you can wear it multiple times. You can wear it to other people's weddings. You can wear it to fancy events. You can even wear it to work. So I really recommend if you want to skip that tuxedo, save a bit of money, then you should probably go for a really smart looking suit that is multifunctional. We went to both suit supply and indochino and can i tell you there is a huge difference i thought that the soup supply place would be the right one but when you go in it's kind of like a factory it felt like a factory to me this is on fifth avenue i did not really like it the staff were super busy no one was really paying attention to us and they have so many suits but they're all kind of off the shelf. So they are not gonna tailor it to your fiance's size. They're just gonna sell you the suit. Alterations, the length, the width, everything is extra, an extra cost. So we figured out that going with suit supply would cost us at least 200, 300 or even $400 more. And when I touched the suits, they didn't feel very nice. They just didn't feel that high quality that I wanted it to be. So we went to Indochino instead on Fifth Avenue. It was perfect. Since then, I have birthday gifted my husband another suit from Indochino because they do a phenomenal job. And the people who work there just know exactly what they're doing. They made like 20 different measurements, his neck width, the shoulders, the, the way that his back was, and the suit just was absolutely perfect. We paid $593 for his suit and maybe it's a little bit more expensive now because two years had gone by, but I don't think it would be a world of a difference. So highly recommend. And where did I get my veil? I bought this beautiful veil that was just floor length with pearls scattered all throughout. I did not buy it from the store because usually it is more expensive. At the store, it was like 300, 400, $500. And I was like, that is a lot of money. I do not want to spend that much on one single whimsy piece of fabric with pearls in it. So I bought it at Etsy and it cost me $157 before tax and delivery fees. And I was super happy with it. And guess what? I have never worn it again. So really think about saving for things you're just gonna wear that one time. And a side note, on all the other kind of stuff, my shoes, I just wore white shoes, white pair of boots that I had already because I didn't want to buy another pair of shoes just for the day. No one looks at your feet anyway. It's fully covered by the dress unless you have a short dress. In that case, I might have spent a little more. But try and recycle, reuse what you already have. You're gonna look fantastic because of that makeup and that hair and that dress. So you don't need to spend a whole lot on jewelry and accessories and all that kind of stuff. So sometimes less is more. So that is a wrap on part one, what we wore, how you can save money. 
Here's a summary of the vendors right down in the description below. And I'm so excited to share with you part two coming soon. I'll see you soon. Have a blessed day.